Well, I'll be dipped. It's gone. If you guys remember, this entire summer, a few months before, there used to be part of a dock here. But as you all can see now, it's gone. It's gone, gone. But, looks like that, uh, that boat engine is still uh, sitting there. What's up, you guys? Chet Guthrie, the Dream Poet here. Coming to you all with day 230 of my vlogging experience here in the state of Florida. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't think y'all caught that. Oh, wait, wait. Can, we, can we catch it again? Can we? That is beautiful. Look at that, you guys. I think I'm going to get my camera out. Cause that, look, look at that. That is gorgeous. But you guys, I'm out here today. Got off work early. Able to start this vlog early. I've just been meaning to just get out like that's that's been my problem last couple of months because it because i mean i've been working on my book and uh that's where it got off to sorry sorry train of thoughts train of thought anyway let's get this vlog started today 230 let's do it i'm sorry at first i thought it was gone but no no there she is there is the dock that I do believe maybe I can find the holes where I pulled out the uh, well, it appears not, I guess, but it's obvious it's got stainless steel screws in it, which, quite honestly, stainless steel screws are surprisingly pretty expensive. I might come out here in the in the future and try to pry all those out, it's just in case if uh, y'all are curious. Maybe, yay, yay, it's it's stable. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Still, that's an amazing... I gotta get out my camera, that is gorgeous. And what do we have here? Do we have one that's still usable? Do we? Do we? Do we? More than likely, probably not. But it does not hurt to check out. Um, well... Doesn't really have... A so maybe maybe it just needs a little bit of patching up maybe I don't know what do y'all think because th those are those are about 40 bucks a piece if uh, if they're working and I think really the only thing that this thing needs is it just needs to be aired up I took a good hard look at it and there, it's got no holes so I assume that just needs just needs to be plugged up a little my find for the day I am definitely going to get out my camera because look, I'm sorry, that is just a beautiful sight. Yes. Dude! I know y'all can't see it because it's not focused and it's not pointing to what I'm looking at, but oh, I almost slipped and fell. Dude, look at that old jug. Like, dude, maybe, maybe it's still good. Maybe. Well, I don't know. It's tops busted on it but one gallon I mean I guess well, it looks like it had a top piece at one time but that's a big jug too I don't know about you guys but you know what heck it I like it it's old looking I want to take it and two um, I know the rust isn't worth anything but that's brass. And I imagine, clean it up, get some WD-40 on it, that still probably work. So, I'm gonna take that. And what do you have it? I found a piece of cattle bone. Heck yeah. Wait, is this, is that bone too? No, no, that's, that's concrete. But still, cattle bone. Sorry, I used to be really interested in bones. And what? What the devil is this? Um, in the comments below, everyone, let me know what that is. Because that doorstop, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I think it, I mean, it looks cool, but probably not worth taking. Hmm. Like we got a crabbing net in there too. 
Not sure if y'all can see it, but eh, it's uh, it's in there, and it looks like we've got trampoline springs. And they're all rusted out, but uh, huh. And I don't know what those are, but those do look pretty sweet. Guess an engine off something at one time, maybe. More than likely. Dude! Look! I found a stairway. Although, that probably leads to someone's house. More than likely, but it looks like it's been many, many years since anybody's gone up there. I, I don't trust those stairs. Well, why not? Heck it. Oh, that's cool. Well, it looks like it's part of somebody's house, so I mean, I can't go any further, but there's somebody's boat. So, let's head back, because this isn't this isn't, uh, this isn't park property. I, I guess I know where the other part of the dock went to, again. Anyway, you guys, it's kind of cool knowing that the tide is down like this because today I've, I've gone as far back as I think I'm wanting to go so we're going to head back and there is something I found that well quite frankly could be worth something and it is this if I'm not mistaken I honestly think I think that's brass or copper more than likely I mean, I don't know what it is, but that thing is heavy duty, and I, I don't know anything about it. It still looks good, so, for a matter of fact, I'm going to take that, because I really don't know who would want it, because it looks like it's been out here for a while, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> kind of heavy. All right, you guys, finally, I've had some time to sit down and really do some research on what I found earlier um, and I well I will just show you what some of these are worth one second yeah they're they're that expensive so basically this thing right here this thing could be worth at least $500 and it looks like there's no actual mechanical like electrical parts on it meaning this thing is more than likely still good. This is solid brass. Like, just the spot price alone per brass, this is, I think that's gotta be at least $30 worth of silver, or worth the brass. And I found this just out in the river the other day, and I'm, su I'm surprised. Like, I mean, it's still good. It needs to be cleaned out a little bit. Sorry, I'm waiting that for someone. Um, I mean, it just needs a little bit of clean, but dude, look. And two, the things that I found about the Gorman uh, Roop Company is that they started back in 1931, and this particular pump that I found, this pump goes off one of the, like a 19, it's not a 1945 model that goes on an old uh, motorboat. So, for somebody that's restoring something like that or likes classic stuff, this is something that is one of a kind, or at least for the moment. I mean, this thing, I mean, just look. And plus, I like, look at the gears behind it. I mean, I like, look at that. I mean, that's, this is solid brass. And I, I found that out on my adventure today, yesterday. So I am happy and Dude, this, this is one of my better finds. Like, this is cool. It's solid brass. Could be worth at least $500, maybe even a thousand. Granted, that's the newer models, and even if you look, these, these by right here, those are stainless steel. 
those are probably about two dollars a piece at least just for the screw um, so I found something amazing probably one of my more uh, one of my more expensive pieces I found while out scavenging it's uh, I don't know what to say other than I guess I just have the right eyes to look and salvage and oh, I'm sorry look at it we'll, we'll look at it one more time just look look at it look at it it is so freaking cool but anyway you guys I'm gonna end the vlog for today I just wanted to show you all what I found out about this particular piece of equipment it's it's more than brass I mean it's actually still a viable piece of, uh, of hardware so you guys don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon that will keep you in the loop on daily content of my life here in the state of Florida. Stay posted, stay tuned, keep in touch with me at Dream Poet at Facebook, as well as my Instagram and the links below. Thank you all for the love and support. Love you all very much. Peace, you guys.